so students this video is to tell you about how to fill the module doubt input form you are expected to fill this form at least two hours before your uh, discussion sessions and uh, you can find the link to this form in the orientation sheet it is imperative that you fill this form because when you fill this form uh, then the question numbers in which you had trouble uh, the those question number reaches your teacher and your teacher will be able to prepare a frequency table to prioritize the questions that troubled majority of the students right so most important thing that you fill this form so here are some instructions given i'll just tell you what you need to do so the field that are required is the email id so this should be the email id with which you log in into your vedantu account the same email id will come here then you will have to fill your batch so when you click on this drop down you will see a number of batches but all these batches are not operational right now as of now only four batches are operational and those are the ones shown at the last the batch one two three and four okay so select whichever batch is applicable to you for example let's say if i am a student belonging to batch two i will select batch two all right uh, do not select any other batch <clears throat> then you have to fill your name then you have to select the subject for which you want to fill this form all right for example if the next discussion that i have to attend is maths discussion then probably i'll be filling the maths form so i'll select maths and i'll then hit the next button when i do so i'll get another drop down which will contain the chapter names of mathematics along with the unit name to which the chapters belong for example unit 1 contains only one chapter that is indefinite and definite integration and unit 2 contains two chapters here area under the curves differential equation and probability so if i am filling the form for unit 1 i have to fill this form only once but if i were filling this form for unit 2 then i will fill this form twice one i for once i will select this and then i'll go to next and then i will fill the questions that i want to ask from this chapter and then i will follow the same procedure and i will fill the form again and this time i will select this chapter and then hit the next button and then i will fill the question numbers from probability that i want to ask right now let's say if you want to ask questions from unit one only then since it has only one chapter you have to fill this form only once so i've selected unit one now i will hit the next button when i hit the next button here are some instructions which says that their doubt can be because of two reasons uh, one is that you know how to solve the question you started solving the question but then you got stuck somewhere in one of the steps or you did not get stuck but you were able to finish the problem and you realized or you found that the answer that you are getting is different from what is given in the answer key so let's call this category of question as category one all right now there can be another situation where you are not able to start uh, the problem for example you have read the question but you are not able to proceed in any direction probably because you lack the theory to solve this particular question or you know the theory but the idea is not clicking you like the right direction to proceed let's call such kinds of doubt as category two doubts so whichever doubts belong to category one fill their number here with comma separated values do not use any alphabets like q or question all right simply comma separated numbers we want here all right and similarly category two doubts have to be filled here again with comma separated values once you are done that just hit the submit button and you are done so thank you guys thank you so much for watching the video and i hope most of you fill this form uh, good luck and stay safe bye bye